Good morning, folks. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to talk about the Dioscoria alata vine and how to rapidly propagate it. Now this method is not used widely yet because it is really not known uh, to many people. But I've tested it and it works. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, first tool uh, you'll need are just some scissors. Now I'm going to locate my vine. I want to grab a vine that is you know, decently long. These look look like they're establishing. So since I've already started trying to propagate this vine, I'm just going to go with this vine. So I'm going to find where it's coming out of the ground at. Let's see here. There's several vines here. It looks like it's wrapping all around everywhere. So it came out of the ground here. I already snagged one vine. That was, that was a while back. It's produced several runners. I'm going to let that runner continue. And what I want to do is snip it just past where another runner is growing because I want it to run some more. So if I go right here between the leaves, we'll be in good shape. So let's start there. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Snip it. All right, now I have removed the vine. This is the the end or shall I say one of the ends cuz it forked right there, which is good. The more for, forks the merrier if you're trying to propagate. Um what's weird is this thing produced some bulb bills and they already started rooting and then it produced some smaller bulb bills and they they were starting to root as well so I mean this thing if it's if it's touching the ground it'll it'll start to root too so but we're gonna go ahead and propagate them in pots all right now where I'm gonna snip here is right there right below where it starts to fork See that? See how this grows this way? It grows this way. So the fork, the fork spreads out that way. So I cut right underneath where it forks. Same thing there. And that's what I'm going to plant. Now I want the leaf sticking out of the soil. See here? I'm just going to stick it in the in the soil like that and just kind of tighten up the soil around the leaves. Let me do this one too. And then you'll see right there. Stick it in there like that. And tighten up the leaves or tighten up the soil around the leaf. Now that joint is where they're going to uh, develop some uh, some yams. Anyhow, that's it. I'm going to propagate this whole thing here and uh, I already expect success because I'm already successful in this propagation method. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for updates. Have a good day.